we here in London catch up one of Stiga's future stars, Tintin Ho. Um, my name is Tintin Ho and I play table tennis for England and I've been playing for 12 years. I play with pen hold, which is a Chinese style, and I play with short pimples on my forehand and normal on my backhand. You're ranked number one in the under 21. What's your rank in the senior rank? Um, I'm number two and uh, Kelly Sibley is number one. So I hope I can play more tournaments soon and become number one. Hi, welcome. Please come in and I'll show you around. This is the first floor. Uh, this is where I do my main training and we have the table and we have also the jerk floor. I usually play here with Ping, my friends, or I do multi-ball with my kids. I notice in your training area below that you use, uh, you have uh, printed uh, all the table tennis balls. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Um, well, when I was younger, my dad and I, we used to draw on the balls. <laughs> and I think it was just to see the spin and he, it was just like a fun way. I don't know, that's what we did. But then uh, now I think we just print on it just so that when I go to a club, I know it's mine. And also when I serve, I can see how much spin is on the ball. That is a painting I did as part of my art exam at school. The reason why I uh, we need a proper uh, playing uh, area where we live is because it can save her traveling time going to a club. Um, the, uh, sh the traveling time uh, are very useful for her to do her homeworks and studies. It's, it's absolutely important. If it is, uh, we don't, if we don't have these uh, facilities, Tintin will be just a good player, not an outstanding player. And that is a photo of me and Liam Pitchford winning the silver medal at the Commonwealth Games. Obviously it was my first like Commonwealth Games final, but we played against Joe and Paul Drinkle who are also from England, so we knew it was going to be really hard. Uh, on the second floor we have another table and my dad coaches her when I play downstairs. This is the third floor and this is the living area. This is the living room and kitchen, and this is where I usually hang out with my friends. This is the bedroom where I study and sleep. Can you describe your racket? Uh, yeah, I use Stiga Ebon Holes and I use uh, Royale short pimples on my forehand with 1.8 thickness and Calibra LT spin on my backhand with 2 millimeters. You also have a special handle? Yeah. Um, yeah, I just made it a little bit smaller for my hands and yeah, I really like it. These are my three favourite exercises when I practice at home. The first exercise is forehand three quarters, where it's just um, a regular forehand but just three quarters of the table. So it's quite uh, demanding with movement but, but not like the whole table. So it just gets your legs moving and just kind of makes you um, warmed up. The second one is, is quite popular, but it's just backhand, middle, backhand, forehand. And I've liked this exercise since I was very little because, especially before a match, it just helps me warm up with my movement again and just getting used to moving to my middle and wide. Uh, the final exercise is just anywhere, um, just to just to help with um, my irregular footwork and and for moving like in the middle and stuff and I also make it more specific for my practice by adding in serve and maybe touch short with a flick or maybe the opponent serves long and then I start the same. How much do you play at home and how much do you train in clubs? Mm, I think 
uh, before I played maybe two, three times a week at my club with other players and the rest at home with my dad or a coach or something. Uh, usually I train with Mike O'Driscoll, sometimes Sherwin, who is the coach of the club called Moberly. And I also go to a school called Morpeth where they have lots of other players that I play with as well. We are a close family and I think we have always been close, um, probably because of this table tennis bond because we always go on fam family trips to tournaments and things like that. Um, so yeah, and we always have to see each other for table tennis training because there aren't that many table tennis players around. So I think we are quite close because of that as well. I'll probably take a gap year to, I'll apply for the universities first and then I'll take a gap year to play table tennis and I'll see how that goes and if I want I'll go to university and I'll also try to play table tennis but if not then I can go professional. A lot of players are going professionally before they get to university um, and so they have a lot more time training and it's hard to compete with them. It's hard to compete on a global basis if you carry on doing university studies and table tennis. But I think it could be possible. 